inside of your project using GridView, it is possible to change the order of the candidates with the table interactions by clicking on the rank, name, status, any of these at the top of your screen to put them in any, any order from highest to lowest. So to start, we'll stay in the rank of the table interactions. You can choose which columns you want to show by clicking on the gear icon here, and you can also deselect them as well. For example, we'll use position to remove. Position is here, and we'll also remove it here. And as we get out of that, it'll remove it. Any newly selected columns will display at the end of your table if selected. So we'll use position again for the example. And we'll see it does not go back to where it was previously. We have to slide down to the end of the table, and you'll find it here. To move any of the table interactions, we want to click and hold so we can drag it down to where we want to see it. So here's a scenario. We are interested in the, in the current company and previous position for our research purposes. At this stage, I am not as concerned with the rating or contact details, so I'll remove those columns. Again, inside the gears icon, the email and phone is already removed, so we'll turn off the rating and make sure the position and company are filled in. So now that that's removed, we can get organized by moving the company to the front as well as the position to set us up for our search here. Now that we're all set up, this is how you want to begin your work. In order for this view to be present across all of our projects, and even after I refresh or leave this project and return to it, I must press the Save button here to the right of the gear icon, and you'll get your notice that it has been saved in your default. Now let's say I am deep in qualifying my candidates for this project. I have just completed a call with a potential candidate, recorded my notes, and I've changed their status. So for example, we're going to go with Jay here. We're going to, we just got off the call with him. We'll change his status to a finalist, which will keep him where he's at. But if we change his rank number to one, that will move him to the top and move everyone else down by one rank. So I reached the end of my day and successfully dequeued or advanced 10 candidates. I filter my list for the newly advanced candidates, select all, use the action bar, and change the visibility to on. So select all would be this button here. But for our example, we'll just take the top five. And we still get to use the same all action. So we'll mark those five visible. And we'll mark them all green. And we have to click done in order for that to take effect, as you see here. Changing the rank number as I said before, we'll move everyone down one space depending on which number you choose. So if we so we change J from five to one and everyone else moved down just one slot. The other columns will organize by order depending on the higher level level of the field. So changing the order of the grid view with the table interactions like names and clicking re-rank will change the rank number of your candidates. So let's say we want to organize everyone by name. And we see here that the ranking numbers are off, but if we click re-rank, it will now change the numbers of the rank here. And all fields can be organized by clicking on them at the top of the table interactions. And again, by just simply clicking re-rank. Clicking on their name will open up their own candidate panel to the side where you can look into their uh, person record and also leave notes on their account. If you have any other questions, please do not hesitate to contact us at support at clockworkrecruiting.com.